We've reached the final out. It's time for the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin Jason Shepard. BYU gets the win in game number two of this three-game series. The final score is 8-4. to four. Lots of impressive performances today for the BYU Cougars, but we will start things off by talking to our Maersk most valuable player, and that is BYU starting pitcher Bryce Robison, who joins me up here in the press box. Bryce, congratulations on a fantastic outing and a fantastic victory. Thank you. Yeah, it was a good team win. Um, glad we could uh, win the series and look to sweep them tomorrow. Yeah, that's obviously the plan. Let's talk about your performance today. Um, they were able to get to you a little early, but really after that first inning where the three runs scored, you gave up one the rest of the way. Take me through just kind of working through that today. Yeah, well, I knew I knew we used a lot of pitchers yesterday, so uh, you know, as a starting pitcher, I wanted, I wanted to be able to go to the distance, kind of help out our pen. And, uh, yeah, I gave up three in that first inning. And, um, you know, luckily I was able to settle in and make some pitches and uh, get a lot of early outs on uh, my slider and curveball and get some ground balls. And, uh, you know, I think I got in the eighth. But, uh, you know, I was just trying to give my uh, the bullpen a chance and uh, really help them out. Well, your, your numbers look like this. Seven innings pitched, six hits, four runs, four earned. You walked one and struck out two, but I, I thought it was just you stayed calm. You didn't let anything get to you. Look, and, and that's really been your M.O. is regardless of the situation, you're going to go out there and you're going to pitch the game plan. D- did you, after having seen what they were able to do yesterday where they scored the 10 runs, how did you approach the lineup today? Well, I knew our hitters could um, I knew our hitters could compete and, and put up runs, so I knew that I had to do my job as a pitcher and, uh, you know, hold them as few as runs and, you know, they can hit the ball pretty well, but, uh, you know, I just try to keep the ball down and, uh, you know, get a lot of ground balls. Well, and I've got to imagine, look, I, I know the, the win-loss record is not what you guys would want at this point, but you know what this offense is capable of, and it's all about, look, I just need to give the, the guys at the plate, yesterday 11 runs, or excuse me, 12 runs, I just need to give these guys a second to warm up, and then eventually you get the four runs in the bottom of the sixth, and you take the lead, you never look back. Having an offense like that, it makes things makes things easier for you on the mound, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, it really does. I mean, Austin Deming, Will, Ryan Cipede, I mean, one through nine, you know, they can uh, do some damage. So, uh, you know, hats off to all the all the guys up there with the sticks. Well, and last question, you mentioned it. You're going for the, the three-game sweep tomorrow. After the five-game losing streak, what, what what does it mean to you guys to have won two in a row and played really good baseball? Uh, it's good. Baseball is that one weird sport where I feel like, you know, anybody can beat anybody on any given day. So, uh, you know, I'm just thankful that we get the opportunity to show up tomorrow and, uh, you know, hopefully sweep them. But, uh, you know, you can never think about a loss too much. you got to be able to be able to bounce back and, uh, you know, go get them. Bryce, uh, congratulations. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you. There we go. Bryce Robinson getting the win. He is our Maersk most valuable player. Maersk, your e-commerce logistics shipping partner let's get you some final stats presented by Siegfried and Jensen helping Utah families for over 30 years we mentioned Bryce on the mound he picks up the win Mason Olsen was fantastic he pitched an inning gave up one hit Jake Porter came in pitched an inning gave up two hits neither pitcher gave up a run as BYU wins eight to four going over some of the highlights for the BYU Cougars, and there were a lot to uh, to look at today. Cole Gamble, two for four, hit a home run, had three RBI. Jacob Wilk, two for three, had a double, a home run, and, and an RBI, obviously. Easton Jones, one for three with two runs batted in, and Austin Deming, one for four with an RBI. A very good performance for the Cougars as they score four in the bottom of the sixth. They take the lead. They would add one in the eighth, and they win by four runs. 8-4 is your final. We will take a break. When we come back, we will talk with the head coach of the BYU Cougars, Trent Pratt. When we return, Cougars getting the win. They'll go for the, the three-game sweep tomorrow afternoon. Back after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show. Now back to Jason Shepard. BYU gets the win. 8-4 over the Omaha Mavericks. BYU improves to 4-6 and six on the season with the loss. Omaha drops to 2-8. and eight. Cougars on a two-game winning streak. They've taken the first two games of this ster- series. They will go for the three-game sweep tomorrow afternoon at noon right here 
on the new skin BYU Sports Network. We're joined now by the head coach of the Cougars, Trent Pratt. Coach, congratulations on another victory. This was a, this was an impressive one. Yeah, it was good, uh, you know, and it, it was awesome to see Bryce kind of struggle at first, but like settle in and and then keep going. And to go that deep in the game for us is really big. And, and he, he has the ability to do that every time he goes out. Well, and he said just a minute ago when he was joining me that like he, he knew that we he needed to go as far as he could, save some of the arms for the finale tomorrow. And so the fact that he was able to do that, that really helped you out, not just to win the game today, but it gives you more options tomorrow as well. Yeah, for sure. And he kept his pitch count down, and he got us a bunch of ground balls. We made a bunch of plays for him. Um, I think we had one error that, you know, was questionable. You know, we had just a throw. and But, like, overall, we played really good defense, and, and he can do that. And that's an aggressive team. They want to swing the bat a lot. So once he settled in, I mean, he got the ball rewind. It was a bunch of ground balls today, which was, was really good for us. It had some really good performances at the plate, obviously. Cole Gamble with a two-run home run in that bottom of the first that – Kind of, kind of got the offense going a little bit. You're able to sort of stay around until that fourth inning. But then Jacob Wilk and Easton Jones and Austin Deming doing what Austin Deming does, just up and down the lineup, you had guys that really came up in big spots today. Yeah, it was awesome to see production like one through nine today. You know, everyone kind of did something offensively to help us win. And if you do that, you know, it's a deep lineup. Man, you can win a lot of games that way. And I think our approach was really good today against that kid. Hopefully we can come back and do the same thing tomorrow. I, I really liked what you got. You got you got two innings, one each from from Mason and Porter. It was really good to see Jake go out and have the, the success that he did, but both of those guys came out and really pitched well in those two innings of work. Yeah, it was great to see Mason come back after a rough night last night and, and to bounce back and come and you know, kind of like a real redemption today and, and come and have a clean inning and, and get us through that. So, And then Jake came in, and, man, it was like we, we need those guys, and that's what they're capable of, and that's the thing. And we believe in those guys, and they're going to keep getting run out there and, and the other guys as well. So we need those guys to keep doing that. What's it going to take uh, for you to get this one tomorrow? Um, who are you going to send to the mound, by the way? Well, Cutter Claussen right okay, back out there. Okay, that's what I thought, and, yeah. And, you know, I know it was awesome first start, a little rough last time, but hopefully, you know, that's settled down. And I mean, Cutter has the ability to do what he did the first time with his stuff to go out, you know, and, and run through a lineup. It may be a little early for this question, but I, I'm curious – do you think this team has an identity yet, or is it still too early? For is it still forming? I think it's getting close. I think we're going to battle. I think you see that. That's one thing. Hey, if we're up by ten, or, up by ten or down by ten. We're going to keep playing hard. We're going to run the base as well. I mean, Cole, you know, score heads up, scores from second on a, on a wild pitch today because two guys go to get the ball, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to run hard. We're going to play hard. Um, I hope that's our identity. You know, and I hope it's, at the end of the season it's like, hey, we're going to throw strikes, we're going to play catch, we're going to run the bases good, and we're going to put the ball in play. And that's what good teams do. Uh, I want to ask you something that has nothing to do with this game, but uh, during the game it was officially announced by the West Coast Conference that the baseball tournament is going to move to Las Vegas. I'm just curious your thoughts on, uh, on the move going from Stockton to Las Vegas beginning in May. I think it's awesome. Um, obviously, you know, Stockton's been good to the West Coast Conference, but – you know, as a coach and, and a player, it's like, man, to go play in that sweet AAA park in Las Vegas, I mean, I think it's great for, you know, for our team and for the conference. Now we've got to play good so we can make it there. There you go. All right, and uh, it continues tomorrow. Go for the three-game sweep tomorrow. Coach, congratulations on the win, and thanks, as always, yep. for stopping by. Thanks, Shep. There we go. That is the great Trent Pratt, BYU head coach. Cougars taking the first two games out of this three-game series by a final of 8-4. to four. Yeah, by the way, Coach Pratt and I have the same phone case. He had, by the way, he had his first. I saw his, and that's why I bought mine. He almost walked away with my phone because it's the same case as his. He realized that when he looked at the screensaver, it is not the same one. But the uh, the Cougars get the win 8-4, to four, and that is going to do it for our broadcast. Special thanks to everybody back in our BYU radio studios and to BYU OIT for the video stream on the BYU TV app. Certainly, thank you to head coach Trent Pratt for his pregame comments as well as his postgame comments. Thank you to Bryce Robison, who was our player guest, and absolutely thank you for listening to Cougar Baseball. Our final from Provo tonight is BYU 8, Omaha 4. Next broadcast tomorrow at noon Mountain Time for the finale of this three-game series. Until then, my name is Jason Shepard. You've been listening to BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Go Cougars!